do you realize I actually walk in at a normal speed? Like that's slowed down. That's the, like the editors make me look good. Because when you see someone walk normally, it's actually quite boring. Slow down anything and it's much sexier. I'm Laura Whitmore and I'm sure the big giant sign behind me gives it away. We're at Love Island After Sun Studios in Elstree in London. This is actually a new studio because we used to work in a different studio. This is this is much bigger and we've got a bar now, so it, it's changed a bit. It looks like we're at the villa, but we're not really. It lies, telly lies, that's just a screen. So I'll bring it over to like where I spend most of our time here, sitting over here, because in these heels it's quite hard to stand the whole time. Um, but I've been working on this show for, uh, this is my third series, and um, I, I really started watching Love Island, I think series three, I think when the whole nation fell in love with the show. Um, and, and I think there's not many shows like this on telly that grips people and makes people really care about relationships of a group of 20 something roles they have never met before. And, and we care. And I think it's because, and it sounds strange, is that it's relatable, um, even though they may be people who you think that are very different to you. We all have been in a situation where there's been unrequited love or we've been in a situation where we've changed our mind about someone and um, been heartbroken, fallen in love. I mean, who isn't a fan of the show? Come on! I, I live alone, it's just me. I need enjoyment and I get it from Love Island, it's great. It's great as a single person watching other people mess up in relationships and I'm like, <laughs> I wouldn't have done that even though I am alone. People in telly know this, but when you do an hour of live telly, it takes hours and hours and like the whole week of planning, even before that, with guests, booking guests, going through scripts, going through questions. Tonight's show, we're doing um, a live link, two live link ups to Mallorca, one in the beach hut uh, with uh, two of the girls, Paige and Gemma. And then we've got a dumped Islanders, which we haven't managed to get back here in time. So doing a live link up. Then we've got two Islanders that have managed to get back here. So there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of planning a lot of guests here. Um, so it takes hours and hours to actually get that one hour out and show. I think it's really important that we're comfortable with the script. Um, there's a lot of format points. My job is to keep it moving, keep everything moving, hit the ad breaks. I love live telly. It, this is very different to when I'm in the villa because when I'm in the villa, it's pre-recorded the day before, two days beforehand. For live telly, there's a count in my ear. I have to hit the ad breaks. So you could be talking to someone and then they're still talking, you've got 10 seconds left. I love it, I love that buzz, but it just means that the script has to be really tight and we all need to know what we're doing, we need to know what cameras we're looking at. Um, so that script meeting is really, really important. We'll have an idea about what we're gonna be talking about, I will anyway, but there's been so many moments where it's just sort of been in the moment live because it's a, it's a live TV show. So sometimes something might happen or something gets said and my head's like, oh, this is juicy, just say it. And then I'll, you know, I'll just say it because it's, it's live TV and it's fun. Let's come to the bar. Also, it's always really important because I'm reading an autocue and I'm walking with them and I'm walking down these heels. So how I've not managed to fall one day. I, I, I'm still, and then up these stairs in these heels while looking at the queue and the guests. That is multitasking at its best. This is not how I normally work on day to day, and I did not do this myself. There is a brilliant team behind this. Um, and also with Love Island, it's kind of fun to dress up um, uh, because of the type of show it is. If you're doing a different show, you don't have to have as, as much glam. But um, this year, I'm really excited because they partnered up with eBay. We're wearing a lot of pre-loved clothes um, or from rental services. The joys of being on telly, you can borrow clothes, which I do quite a lot. Um, but when I first started out in the industry, I used to work on telly every day for MTV and I had no money. I used to do my makeup myself. I, I remember one of my first days of the job was interviewing Coldplay in LA and I literally did my own makeup in a port -a Um You can tell that this was not done in a port -a We've really tried to get as much rented, pre-loved, um, vintage and it's been really fun it's like it's it's a fun way to do it for me and her like we've been out shopping to vintage shops been to East London we spent a day just going trying stuff on um, and then I've contacted certain rental companies that we've been getting some bits from and it's fun it's been fun to play uh, with like different designers like high-end designers but you can get it you know for a cheaper budget 
and she can wear it and it's just fab. My favourite thing about working on Love Island is that we get to get really creative with looks. Yeah, we get to properly do a full look, which is fun for the team. Yeah, and it's like the vision coming together. Yeah. And we get to watch the episode before everyone else watches the episode. <laughs> uh, and we're Love Island fans, so that's super fun. Um, and yeah. I think the final yeah, is... Yeah, the final's epic. I mean, the final look's going to be epic as well, yeah. which we're really excited and about. And the buzz of like, live TV and being in the villa is just the best. It's funny because you get asked, like, oh, how do you do the slow-mo walk? I just walk. I just walk. I actually had someone, like, literally rant at me going, Oh, you're so selfish. You walk so slow that you take up so much of the show by walking in. I was like, do you do you realize I actually walk in at a normal speed? Like that's slowed down. That's the like the editors make me look good because when you see someone walk normally, it's actually quite boring. Slow down anything and it's much sexier. So um, I have the brilliant editing team to, that make me look good. I don't really have to practice. I've been walking for years. I love as well like the the fans who you don't think are fans. Um, my first series, we ha I had Nicola Coughlin, um, who's a friend of mine. She was on the panel. She loves the show. I, um, for radio, I was interviewing Amy Schumer for something else, and she just stopped the interview and she went, I'm sorry, are you Laura Whitman from Love Island? We have to talk about Love Island. So I love I, people that you don't expect to be massive fans. Uh, I, I just love getting on the sofa. I've got two really big, exciting projects I'm really excited to, to squeeze in before we have winter Love Island. <laughs> because who needs a holiday or a break in life? That's what I say. Um, so I have a new TV series with ITV that's very different to Love Island. And then I have a new project that is very different, but maybe BAFTA related. I actually get asked a lot, which is really lovely, by young people about how to get into the industry. and. Honestly, there are so many different ways to get in. I think it's also changing a lot. You can kind of create your own platform. Like when I started, actually, when I started, I put a video on MySpace. And that's how I entered an MTV competition to be the face of MTV. And I was studying journalism at the time. Um, so that's my way. But I know other people who've gone in through really niche ways. Like maybe they were a stylist and then they got into kind of fashion telly and then suddenly used that to get in another way. There's been like, whether through modeling or acting or journalism. My, my degree was in journalism. I was working in a newsroom. Um, so there's so many ways you can get in. So I would say don't try to emulate someone else. Try and find your unique selling point because that's what makes you you and that will keep you in the industry. You will always be compared to other people, but if you're you and do things your way, then that's only a bonus and you're on your way.